Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly uh, tarot reading for my Aries for the week starting June 20th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. And you can also subscribe to my channel. It would be very appreciative, by the way. I'm so happy with um, the amount of subscribers that I have gained and since the beginning and all your support. I receive a lot of uh, uh, messages from you, Aries. Thank you very much. Thank you to all my new subscribers for joining my channel as well. And I also posted below the video where you could, you could actually find me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, all of the information is below my video. And now my Aries, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position. I will do it differently this week. Uh, my videos normally they are much ahead, so I will do three card spread. It will be past, present, and future for you this week. So let's see what we have in the past position. The Six of Rods in the past. Okay, things are s starting to go better. I mean, the Six of Rods does represent victory. Okay, so victory, if, it's, if you haven't had that energy next week, it will come this week. But I think last week things are starting to change. There was some type of anxious energy in regards to other people, how maybe you felt towards other people or how other people were treating you. Maybe some of my Aries were not able to uh, go as forward as they usually normally. They were held back by other people. It could be other people didn't approve, lack of support, many things. And I say this because your ruler, Mars, is in your eighth house. It's in Scorpio, which you share the same ruler, and it's going retro. Okay. However, this week is the last week of retrograde, and I think... If, if you're not going forward, at least in terms of your vision, okay, if it's not a, on a physical level, because it's still, you know, the energy is still somehow restrictive, I think in your mind, there's a new perspective on how you're going to go forward. And I think that some of you know that you will be able to get what you want going in that direction, okay? Even if things are not you know, showing this way, I think there's a lot of things that you have been going through the last few weeks, which allow you to see how you could get where you need to be, which maybe, you know, with cooperation from other people, you know, or having other people do the things that you need them to do. And the reason why I say other people is because the eight house is the house of other people money. It's also the house of power and transformation, among other things, but that's what I feel it's related here for you, my Aries. Know that if things are not looking the way you want them to be, even with that, you will still win, okay? There's still something for you to gain, okay? Because it's the house of gain, okay? So you have to go forward. If you have hesitation and, you know, doing something because of some obstacles, I want you to remember that the Six of Rods means victory, okay? And so let's see what we have for you in the present position this week. The Two of Pentacles. It's a great energy, okay? Um, you know, you still have a lot of energy in your third house. The third house is the house of courage. We have uh, Mercury, your, which is the ruler of your third house, in Gemini, in its own place, so where it's feel most comfortable, okay? And so I feel that some of you are now even able to go further and jungle, jungling different things at a time. It doesn't mean that it's money. It could, because it's pentacle, but it could be that now you have a way to manage your household, and at, at the same time, work on your business or, uh, you know, build your relationship and continue going to school. Or maybe now you find a way to go back to school and still be able to earn money. There's something, there's a, there's a way, there's a platform for you that is available to facilitate your goals, okay? To bring you some type of security in your life. 
That could be for work, could be, like I said, in your education, in your relationship. It could be in different areas of life. But I want you to know that the possibility is there, okay? You have a way for you to get what you want, but then also keep something going, okay? Because that's what the Two of Pentacles means. But also, it could be that you have two possibilities of expending yourself in terms of your material gains, okay? Maybe there's two business possibilities ahead. Maybe there's two jobs. Maybe the two jobs involve maybe pursuing a class or something like that. But this for me, the two of pentacles is expansion. And because again, your ruler is in the house of other people's money. So here it's all about you gaining something through maybe stretching out a little bit, okay? Through having some type of discipline and a routine because pentacles is earth, okay? And earth element is about, you know, having some type of um, you know, yes, having some type of routine, you know, and they're very stable. That's what I was looking for. It's this very stable energy. So there's something for you that could give you that stability. Okay. And also, like I said, allow you to pursue other things. Okay. And then at the same time, those things should allow you to bring you some gains, whether the gains will be available now or maybe in a few months or a few years, it is there. And let's see what we have for you, my Aries, in the position of the future this week. The Eight of Rods. Uh, sorry, the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. All right. So as we could see in this picture, we see someone who seems stuck. Okay. So there's an energy. I mean, you have a lot of energy in your third house right now. Okay. So Gem Mercury is in Gemini. But your ruler is still going retrograde. So although there's a lot of things that you want, don't be, don't be discouraged if you're not able to go forward. Even when, you know, when Mercury, uh, sorry, Mars will go forward around the 29th of uh, June next week, it will be a slow progression. So keep that in mind. And I think this card is really just because you Aries or, you know, you're known to be very impulsive. So when there's something that you're interested in, you just don't think about it, you go. But here it's the, it tells you that there's a different way of going about that. Now there's a lesson that you have been taught, okay? With Mercury now going, now who is actually in your third position, Gemini, you should be able to see that, okay? Even if you're not able to go forward, you should be able to think about it and see, okay, now I understand that going forward, to facilitate my my uh, goal, I have to do this a certain way. I need people on, on board. I need cooperation. I need this. I need that. That's what Scorpio is, uh, um, you know, Mars in retrograde in Scorpio is teaching you. Is how to get what you want, okay, through other people. So, you know, I think this is this energy that is telling you that in the future, you have to remember this lesson. Even next week when, um, not this week when I'm doing this reading, but like I said, your ruler will go forward around the 29th. Even the week after that, don't be troubled if you're still not able to go as quick as you used to. There's a, there's a method that you have to acknowledge, that you have to keep in mind in going forward. That is one of the lessons that is being taught, okay? But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Aries. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send me lots of kisses. I love you.